Hello there. If you're a fan like me, you'll agree that The A-Team 1983 stands among the greatest TV series ever. So, how about joining me today? Grab a chair, settle by the campfire, and let's relive this fantastic show together. We'll journey through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who've left us, and celebrating those who still shine. Ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. George Peppard played the character John Hannibal Smith in the TV series when he was 55 years old in 1983. Sadly, on May 8, 1994, he left us due to pneumonia at the age of 65 in Los Angeles, California. We're deeply saddened by his passing. We heard you killed Josh Curtis, is that right? Well, I, I... I'll tell you what, you got until I light my cigar to answer. What's happening is this. The food is acting like a cork in a bottle. When you pull it in the stomach, you force the trapped air to pop the cork out. You can even do this to yourself. Dwight Schultz played the character Howlin' Mad Murdoch. He was 36 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. Fast forward to today, and he's a lively 76-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Baltimore, Maryland. Oh, you yeah, for, man? Oh, as, as long as I want. I'm, I'm officially released. What? I'm, I'm no longer in... Alec. 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 Yeah. See, yeah. already it's a problem because you're calling the brother a, a, yeah. and a question. Now you see, this is how it starts. Started. They're 40 brothers. Someone's going to say, I heard Daniel Baldwin yeah. did they're, it. They're 40 yeah. Melinda Coolia played the character Amy Amanda Allen in the TV series when she was 28 years old in 1983. Fast forward to today, and she's a lively 68-year-old soaking up the best of life right here in Western Springs, Illinois. Damn, they ain't gonna say nothing. They took a vow of silence. Right, kids? Shh. I think you are crude and disgusting. Really? Why don't you always shout at really? me? The pancake? Dirk Benedict played the character Templeton Faceman Peck. He was 38 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. Check it out. At 78 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Helena, Montana. If he gets his hands on that boat, we gotta get out of here. Well, in two and a half hours, we'll be on a submarine headed for the Mayport Naval Air Station, so uh, we can uh, worry about your boat then, okay? Right? They didn't, but you know, George was a, a lot like his character. Mm. He liked to mess with people's minds. And okay. he liked a little... Mr. T played the character B.A. Barracus in the TV series when he was 31 years old in 1983. Here he is at a cool 71, chilling in Chicago, Illinois, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by his side. She loves me not. Shut up, Murdoch. Shut up. Now listen, I want you to crawl up under the floor. And try to get a message to Hannibal. Okay. Times in the Bible and food so many times. So I put them together. Pity the food. Because a lot of a lot of guys in the Bible was asking for pity. Yeah. Carl Franklin played the character Captain Crane in the TV series when he was 34 years old in 1983. Check it out. At 74 years old, he's rocking a fulfilling life jam-packed with passions right here in Richmond, California. Empty. Whole place was rigged, sir, like sprinklers on a timer. We poured thousands of dollars worth of ammunition. And for the first time, Bossa Nova music is actually exposed to the world in this movie with the incredible score by Luis Bonfa and the great Antonio Carlos Joe. Eddie Velez played the character Frankie Santana. He was 28 years old when the TV series ran in 1986. Fast forward to today, and he's a lively 65-year-old, soaking up the best of life right here in New York City, New York. We got a timeout. Listen, Santana, I think TJ's taking a dive to save his own oh, butt. Man. Hey, 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 hey. Look, man, I played some quarterback in high school. You want to use me, I'm ready. Copeland, you dick. You got a lot of nerve calling. A lot of nerve. Where? Better not be wrong about this. Lance Legault played the character Colonel Decker. He was 48 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. September 10th, 2012 was a tough one. He left us due to heart failure at 72 years old in Los Angeles, California. It's a sad loss for all of us.
Do I want them? Yes, sir. Uh, Colonel Decker? Yes, ma'am. Was that them? Uh, the A-team, the ones who threatened me? No, ma'am. Wasn't them. As a Marla Heasley played the character Tanya Baker. She was 24 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. Here she is, at a cool 64, chilling in Hollywood, California, enjoying a happy life with family and friends by her side. My name's Tanya. And I told you I've been working undercover on a story there. Using the security firm's computers to run a check on us in the early morning hours before work. Just not to let him bother me. Because George um, uh, uh, was just not... Robert Vaughn played the character General Hunt Stockwell in the TV series when he was 54 years old in 1986. November 11, 2006 was a tough one. He left us due to acute leukemia at 83 years old in Ridgefield, Connecticut. It's a sad loss for us all. This is Black Wolf. I hear there's a hunter in the woods. I'm afraid he's lost his way. The old hand. He just talked all day, stories, anecdotes, and I'll tell you the one about him, and he would leave at 7 o'clock at night. And he did that every day. I mean, he was actually clinically insane, I think. <laughs> Jack Ging played the character General Harlan Bull Fulbright. He was 52 years old when the TV series ran in 1983. Sadly, on September 9, 2022, he left us due to natural causes at the age of 90 in La Quinta, California. We're deeply saddened by his passing. All right, Smith! Don't make us come in shooting. Okay, General. Kind of got us. We're coming out. Mother and go, look, oh, Mr. Sure. T's the star. Well, let's start making his part bigger. Let's start well, absolutely, because, writing the show around him. Well, uh, listen, when, when, when uh, 20 million... All right, let's chat. Who's your absolute favorite character from the A-Team? Dive into the comments and spill the beans below this video. Oh, and show me some love. Hit that like button, subscribe for more, and ding that notification bell to never miss my new stuff. I can't wait to cook up more fantastic memories with you. Thanks a bunch, and stay tuned for more. See you all soon.